Hey guys, Kevin Crowley here. Today we're going to talk about playing defensive midfield. So I had to be creative with my offensive player. I'm going to be playing Dion, so I got this half a Coke bottle to represent my O guy. So defensive midfield is one of the toughest positions in the game of lacrosse. Offensive players have so much room on the field to run around to try to beat you, and you only have a three-foot stick. So it's important as a defensive midfielder that I'm dictating to the offensive player where I want them to go, not the other way around. So the first key is the angle of approach. So if my offensive player is trying to dodge me from here with the goal there, typically in a defense, I'm going to force them down the alley, okay? So I want to make sure my top foot, so in this case, my right foot, is as high as their top foot, here. So my hips are facing towards the sideline, I'm denying the middle of the field, and I'm inviting them to go down that outside where there's a low angle shot. The second key is closing the gap. And what that means is, when I get into my angle, my good angle of approach here, I don't want to let the guy dictate where he wants to go. Okay, I want to force him to go the way I want him to. So I do that by good positioning, and then before I'm letting him run around and try to shake me, I'm going to close the gap and get into him here. So I'm making contact in a cross-check position on his hip, and I'm ready to guide him to our third point down the alley. So the third key to playing good defensive midfield is to make sure that I'm denying the rollback. So my first one was my angle of approach. My second one was closing the gap. And now the third thing is denying the rollback, right? I want to dictate where that offensive player goes. I want to drive them into the corner using their own momentum. So I'm going to step upfield, sitting in their back pocket here. Again, the gap's been closed, and I'm sitting here and driving them, riding them out into the corner.